All right, we're back. How's it going, everyone? Happy Sunday night. How much time is left to Sunday? You got about three hours left to Sunday, right? Sponsored by Sharpie. <laughs> okay, so it's a special live stream tonight. Uh, Toxic WR, you know he's purchased quite a few cards already. He just purchased an entire booster box of Hidden Fates. That's what this looks like. It's quite a few packs of Hidden Fates. He's hoping to grab that shiny Charizard out of here. I hope he does get it. I really do, uh, because I think that would be very fun to pull on stream. Uh, for those of you who are watching, if you want to buy cards while we're opening these, you're still welcome to do that during the live stream. Don't forget, if you are interested, to use the Streamlabs link in the description. Don't use Super Chat. We're still selling Unified Minds, five packs for $23, and Cosmic Eclipse, five packs for $23. And then if you want to open up Hidden Fates, I do have a few left, but I think it's not many. I think I have just about this much left for Hidden Fates over here. Other than that, I'd have to go open up some Premium Powers collections. So there's not a lot of Hidden Fates left because Toxic just bought them all. Uh, and those are three for 20. I think I already said that. Let's go ahead and get started. Are you excited, Toxic? I'm excited. Clean up my desk a little bit. My desk was a little bit messy from yesterday. Okay. And I don't want this music to be too loud. I don't think it is. And let's get Streamlabs ready in case somebody actually does buy cards in the middle of the opening. Okay, sweet. Whew. Wow, this is so exciting. <laughs> 36 packs. You know, we'll start by counting them to make sure he gets all 36. So let's start with stack number one. There should be 18 here. One, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So that is half a booster box there. Let's get the next pile counted. Do them a chunk at a time. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. That's 9. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So 18 and 18, by the way, is 36 packs. All 36 of them are here. I think what I'll do, I'll trim the tops off of all 36 packs, and then we'll open them up. I tell you what, we'll start with half of it. We'll go half and half. How about that? <laughs> 18 plus 18 equals 1,000. Yeah, right. <laughs> I'm going to, he says, I was going to buy this on payday. So if he gets really good pulls, I'm going to be upset. <laughs> I'm going to be jealous. Oh man, I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> Here we go. One. So we're going to open 18 packs and then we're going to open up another 18 packs. Good luck, Toxic. And anyone else who opens up cards tonight, I'll probably open up some cards myself as well. I always open up some cards with you guys. But I never really know what I feel like opening anymore. Because <laughs> I don't think too hard about it. I just go live. If nobody buys, just open the next half. For sure, man. Jonathan says, am I late? Nope, we just started. These are so sticky. It's the actual foil on the booster packs. Had a little glue added to them to keep them stuck to their promotional boxes that they came out of. So we will still have some Hidden Fates left, but honestly, not a lot left. I know you guys were opening them yesterday night, and you were realizing that they actually have pretty good pulls. They give out quite a few full arts. Why don't we go over the best pulls that Toxic can get from these cards. The very first and best pull by far is the Shiny Charizard. After that, I believe it's Cynthia. There's a Cynthia card. After Cynthia, it should be Umbreon. And then after Umbreon, I believe it's Tapu Koko. All right, perfect. 18 packs, everyone. Is it Tapu Koko? The Tapus are really good pulls. That's all I know. So if you pull any of the Tapus, you're doing good. Woo! 18 packs, everyone. Get excited. This is the card he's going for right here. This is the card you want to pull. 
but he's hard to pull, okay? You don't necessarily get him. It's not guaranteed. I opened a ton of tins and I didn't get him. So you do have to, if he does actually pull it, it's a very, very lucky pull and you should all con congratulate him. Here we go. Pack number one, I'll move these out of the way. One, two, three, four. Metapod, Head Nurse, Scyther, Caterpie, Paris, Charmander, Clefairy, Slowpoke, all the cards you've seen, Lapras, and Pikachu. Pack number two. All the cards we've seen many times on this channel, because we've opened a lot of Hidden Fates on this channel. Farfetch'd, Jinx, Charmander, Psyduck, Magikarp, Staryu, Slowpoke, Reverse Hollow Clefairy, and Blaine's Last Stand. Two cold packs, two cold packs to start us off. That's because all the good packs are hiding behind the cold packs. That's how it works. Brock's Gym, Giovanni's Exile, Koga's Trap, Paris, Cubone, Voltorb, Geodude, Eevee, <laughs> Reverse Hollow, Sabrina's Suggestion, and what is that? Butterfree. Pack number four. One, two, three, four. Well, that card was a little darker back there. I wonder if that, oops, kind of flew back, didn't it? Chansey, Brock's Grit, Scyther, Ekans. I wonder if that means anything, having a card that's a little darker in the very back. Slowpoke, Reverse Hollow, Ekans, and Kangaskhan. No, it does not mean anything. So interestingly, that was some cold packs right at the start, which means whoever would have bought the uh, first set of cards from there would have gotten fricked pretty hard. Coughing, Paris, Cubone, Voltorb, Reverse Hollow, Mr. Mime, and Zapdos. Phase into darkness. What are you talking about? He hasn't given a straight answer out. Is he talking about me? Giovanni's the Exile, Lieutenant Surge's Strategy, Koga, Voltorb, Cubone, Geodude, Eevee, Jigglypuff, Reverse Hollow Staryu, and Blaine. What are these cold freaking packs, man? Where are the hot packs? One, two, three, four. Lieutenant Surge, Koga's Trap, Brock's Grit, Coughing, Paris, Cubone, Voltorb, Geodude. Nice. Once again, we pulled one of these yesterday. This is one of the best shinies you can pull. If he gets a good grade, he could sell for about $60. I don't think that's unreasonable. I think he will probably always float around that area too. Beautiful. And the back of the card looks pretty decent. He looks like he could be slightly off center, but it's not by very much. Set him here. That's your first good pull of the night. Next pack. Charmeleon and Charmander are two of the best shiny of, uh, cards of that type, that uh, design that you can pull. Lieutenant Surge, Koga's Trap, Brock's Grit, Slowpoke. Ooh, can you guys see? Jigglypuff, Caterpie, Eevee. Nice, shiny Altaria. Whew, here we go. I was wondering when the pulls were going to start coming in because you pulled a lot of cold packs right at the start. Very pretty. Charmeleon on Altaria. Wow, I feel like we actually had a pull just like that earlier, didn't we? Was it yesterday we pulled both those cards? Next pack. One, two, three, four... We have Chansey, Giovanni's Exile, Brock's Pewter City Gym, Pikachu, Clefairy, Jigglypuff, Caterpie, Paris, Shiny, Matang, and Jesse and James Full Art. Here we go. Finally, we start getting pulls. So Jesse and James are going to go right there. Here's Matang. Looking very shiny. Can I place him here. That was a good pack. You got both Shiny Matang and Full Art Jesse and James at the same time. Much better than if you had simply pulled a regular rare. Scyther, Jinx, Paris, Charmander, Clefairy, Slowpoke, Magikarp, Shiny Fermosa. All right. So far, each one of these has been a hit. Still waiting on a sexy card to show up, though. One that's going to blow your mind. Give us Cynthia. Oh, right. Mewtwo is a good pull as well. Cynthia, Charizard, Umbreon, 
Mewtwo, Tapu Koko. That's what we're looking for. Ekans, Caterpie, Reverse Hollow Lieutenant Surge Strategy. <laughs> Another Jesse and James. All right, so Jesse and James full art shows itself again. Interesting. Don't forget, guys, just one of these packs could be a crazy pull. We have Charmeleon, Chansey, Giovanni's Exile, Voltorb, Pikachu, Ekans, Coughing, Paris, Reverse Hollow Eevee, and Misty's Water Command. Oh, that's falling over. And Toxic, I know you're going to want those codes, so I will get those to you right after the stream if I remember. Suggestive Sabrina, Charmeleon, Clefairy, Jigglypuff, Imagine a Card of Me, Caterpie, Eevee, Ekans, Reverse Hollow Magic Carp, and Holographic Brock's Training. <laughs> I dropped this. Next pack. One, two, three, four. We have Head Nurse, Scyther, Magmar, Psyduck, Magic Carp, Staryu, Voltorb, Pikachu, Reverse Hollow Clefable, and Non Hollow Weezing. The next pack. Let's see what we get in the next pack. One, two, three, four. Flip this around. We have Charmeleon, Chansey, Brock's Grit, Clefairy, Psyduck, Ekans, Caterpie, Paris. Ooh, you got a full art. What's it going to be? Full Art Zygarde and Erica's Hospitality. All right, there we are. Shiny Zygarde. I was wondering when you were going to start getting these. Sweet. Next card. Next pack. One, two, three, four. We got Lieutenant Surge, Misty's Bending Over, Head Nurse, Coughing, Clefairy, Staryu, Jigglypoof, Ekans, Reverse Hollow Caterpie and Jolteon. And then finally, what's, oh, we got two more packs, I'm sorry. So this is the first half of the booster box. We got two more packs left to go. Let's see if we can get a crazy pull in one of the next two packs. Eevee, Pikachu, Clefairy, Jigglypoof, Caterpie, Reverse Hollow Graveler, and Lapras. That's a cool pack. Last pack. Wish him luck, everyone. This is the last one of 18 packs. Giovanni's Exile, Koga's Trap, Brock's Pewter City Gym, Charmander, Slowpoke, Psyduck, Pikachu, Magikarp. I see something. Nice, shiny Charmander. Perfect. Another really good pull from the shiny set. So my guess is the Charmander would probably be worth about 60 bucks too. Uh, somewhere in the range of, of 50, 60 bucks, if I had to guess for this Charmander. And the centering on him looks very good. Let's check the back of the card. This card looks pretty gradable, man. <laughs> All right, so Welix Kiba has that mix set to open. Whoa, Symphonia, break time. Whoa, so uh, Welix Kiba wants to open up a mixed set, and then Symphonia, I don't know what Symphonia wants to open. Give me one moment. Let's go over the cards that got opened here for uh, for Toxic first. So I would say your best pulls are going to be this Charmander and Charmeleon. Very cool on these two pulls right here. I would be jelly to pull these, because these are worth more than a lot of full arts in my opinion. I don't know much about the Feromosa. Justin James isn't like the best pull. It's better than a rare though. Zygarde's going to be a legit, you know, shiny Pokemon here. Altaria looks really nice. Um, I don't know much about his value. Matang is part of the Metagross uh, evolution tree. I think he'll probably be okay. And then here's another Justin James. So the first half of the booster box, I would say, is not bad. It really is probably carried by the Charmeleon Charmander here. Those are going to be your best pulls from the first half, and I think they really help you along. Let's go ahead and fill this up. Jesse and James is trash, says Jeff. It, it, is, it is one of the uh, less valuable full arts, but again, it's better than just pulling a regular rare. Uh, Wellix says he wants to open up his... Let's, I tell you what. Let's, let's say this is half time for Toxic, and we will go ahead and open up Wellix's mixed set right now. 
you can open Wellix and Symphonia before the next 18 packs. All right, very cool, Toxic. That's what I was thinking we should do. I think it's fun because it kind of prolongs the uh, prolongs the feeling, right? The uh, anticipation. Also, can we zoom this back a little bit? Just in the camera here. Here we go. This is for Wellix Kiba. Wellix, didn't you? Oh, oh, I remember now. Right, so this is for the mix set. We opened Unified Minds for you yesterday. That's what it was. Jesse James. <laughs> All right, pack number one is going to be Unbroken Bonds. One, two, three, four. This is for Wellix, Kiba, Frogadier, Electromagnetic Radar, Chitat, Gligar, Seal, Clefairy, Litten, Carvana, Reverse Hollow Coughing, and Non Hollow Clefable. In the Unified Minds pack, let's see what we get here. One, two, three, four. We have Tornadus, Jinx, Slumbering Force, Joltig, Dratini, Young Goose, Yanma, Execute, Reverse Hollow Mesprit. Oh, you got a full art. Full Art Grimsley. Wow, somebody pulled a Grimsley, yes, Grimsley yesterday. All right, so Grimsley for Wellix here. Next, we have Cosmic Eclipse. Nice, dude. One, two, three, four. Flip this around. We have Larvesta, Floetta, Roxy, Flabebe, Sphiel, Natu, Palpitoad. Palpitoad makes me think of Palpatine. God, I should draw him as like a... Sith Lord or something, Ducklet, and Groudon. And then we have the Shining Legends Booster Pack. This was very cool. I actually have ordered more of these because you guys enjoyed them so much. We have Scrafty, Floatzel, Electrode, Torkoal, Ivysaur, Quillfish, Shroomish, Litten, Reverse Hollow Voltorb, and Keldeo. Darn. <laughs> I was always hoping that we would pull that Shining, or not the Shining, the Secret Rare Mewtwo, but it appears the Shining Legends have escaped us without giving us one of those Mewtwo's. But again, I, I ordered more, so we'll have another chance for it when they arrive. They should arrive about a week from now, probably. Maybe a little less than a week. That's going to be Wellix. All right, did Symphonia say what he wanted to pull? I didn't see what he wanted to pull. Unbroken Bonds, we don't have any more Unbroken Bonds. They're, they sold out. <laughs> uh, we have Unified Minds. Sorry, Symphonia. Yeah, we're sold out of Unbroken Bonds. We have Unified Minds and we have Cosmic Eclipse. With Unified... Symphonia goes, ah, I'm sorry, dude. <laughs> I should have said that. Uh, Unified Minds gives you a chance for Mewtwo and Mew. And then Cosmic Eclipse gives you a chance for uh, this Charizard, except also the secret rare version of him. Yeah, so there's a secret rare Charizard breaks in, in the Cosmic Eclipse set, which will be the best card in that set. Also, it, I believe it does have a Cynthia in it as well. And I think she's like the second most valuable card. So, Cosmic Eclipse, mines it is. Let's go for it. Sweet. This is for Symphonia, everyone, and then we shall return to Toxic's, uh, Toxic's Hidden Fates booster box. Pack number one. Pack number two. Pack number three. Pack number four. And pack number five. Toss these over here. Boop. Oh, I'm mixing these. One, two, three, four. Flip this around. We have Recycle Energy, Thunderous, Dragonair, Metatite, Noibat, Sawaddle, Scoruppy, Wimpod, Reverse Hollow Giratina, and Necrozma. Man, Necrozma's got a crazy little face, doesn't he? I don't know much about Necrozma. I didn't play Sun and Moon, believe it or not. Giratina says, I will just stare. <laughs> Turtoga in pack number two, Giant Hearth, Figaroth. Is it Hearth or Hearth? Probably hurt. Fomantis, Ryolu, Purloin, Jewelpick, Dratini, Reverse Hollow Pikachu. Oh, you got a full art. What's it gonna be? 
Full Art Latios. Is it Latios? Nice. There you go. Let's take a look at the back of the card. Looks pretty clean, I'd say. Uh, maybe there's a little dot there for some reason. I don't know what that dot is from. Like a fleck of paint or something. Nice, dude. Latios, says Raging Bat. Alright. He says the Pokemon is pronounced Latios. Simph, I told you to pick Unified Minds. <laughs> Here we go. Steny, Dual Blade, Chandler, Salandit, Ryolu, Metatite, Shroomish, Slackoth, Sawaddle, and Lucario. You still have two boosters left. So both of you guys pull a full art. That's pretty good. Uh, both Wellix and Symphonia. Azelf, Blues Tactic, Fracture, Drifloon, Dupider, Dredagon, Cottony, Fomantis, Reverse Hollow, Slackoth, and Non Hollow Araquanid. And the last pack, let's see what we get in the last pack. It's not over. One, two, three, four. We have Turtoga, Tranquil, Recycle, Energy, Hoot Hoot, Scraggy, Numel, Tynamo, Poipel, no Noibat. Dude, you got another one. Mewtwo and Mew GX. This is the full art. The best you can pull is the secret rare. Very good pull, man. Actually, let's look it over. Damn, that was ridiculous for Unified Minds. You just got both the Mewtwo and Mew and the Latios. Damn. Very good choice. <laughs> it's a very good pull, in my opinion, because people are after... Uh, the secret rare, but people all will also appreciate the full art because the full art are the correct colors for the characters, right? So you can see this this one looks different. You, it doesn't look like the correct colors, but yeah, so it would look like probably like this. See, so very cool. Whew! Symphonia having some good luck tonight. It's, it's, I'm glad you are because you don't always have the best luck, Symphonia. Holy smokes! Symphonia. All right, hold this up. Mewtwo and Mew Full Art. Awesome. That's because you tipped me that shiny Magneton the other day. It gave you the special good luck. <laughs> Whoa! Eighteen dollars, secret rare. That's sticky. Uh, do you mean to grade that? Is that what you mean? I think he means to grade this one. This one is not a secret rare. It's a full art. A secret rare... Uh, a, uh, a secret rare would be the rainbow art one. It's a full art, but it's still a valuable card. So hold on. Let me update. I'll update Discord for you so that that gets sent off for grading. I'm going to go over to... Oh, it's in the other Discord. <laughs> I've got two Discord servers now. I'm very busy. <laughs> Actually, the second one's not quite so much traffic, but it's, it's getting there. So Symphonia is sending out Kangaskhan already. We're going to add... Mewtwo and Mew Full Art. All right. That's been updated. Sweet. And that's what he meant, right? Let me just check through here. I think that's what he meant. I presume that's what he meant. Let's go ahead and get this into a sleeve. Okay. Here it is. I'll go put it in a pile. Sweet. Now it's time to open up the second half of Toxic's booster box. Oh my god. Any one of these could be the best pull in the set, but we don't know yet. Uh, let's go ahead and start taking the tops off of them. Got one, two, three. Oh, okay. <laughs> Four. I thought it felt thinner for a moment. 
but I was mistaken. Five, six, seven. Toxic bought the whole booster box? He did. I do not have a lot of hidden fates left now. Bruh. She likes it, don't worry. What are you guys saying? Ooh. Well, this is already so many packs. It's crazy, man. Help, I'm getting spanked. Oh, now, now, guys. No spanking. Peach does taste good. She's in a peach. All right. We'll take all these tops, throw them on the ground, because that's how I do it. <laughs> right, let's take another look at those pulls he got. He got both Charmeleon and Charmander earlier. Faramosa, Jesse and James twice. Zygarde, Altaria, Matang. Here's that other Jesse and James. All right, so that's the first half. I would say those pulls are kind of light, except you did get Charmander and Charmeleon. Let's see if we can get some better pulls over here. We want some really shocking good pulls. That's what we're hoping for tonight. One, two, three, four. Flip this around. We have Magmar, Scyther, Brock's Grit, Clefairy, Jigglypuff. Get myself in the middle of the screen here. Psyduck, Reverse Hollow Geodude, and Charizard GX. Pop that into a sleeve. That's probably the best GX you can pull. It's a sticky pack. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Misty is bending over. Head Nurse, Suggestive Sabrina, Caterpie, Paris, Psyduck, Charmander, Magikarp, Shiny, Alolan, Vulpix. Nice. Something tells me this card's going to hold on to its value as well. The Alolan Vulpix is a very cute card. Next pack. One, two, three, four. We have Charmeleon, Chansey, Brock's Grit, Pikachu, Voltorb, Coughing, Cubone, Geodude, Re Reverse Hollow Eevee, I said that right, and Jolteon. Next pack. I feel another Zard coming. <laughs> oh my god, you guys. You all checking your crystal balls? <laughs> Head nurse, side up, Charmander. My crystal ball is telling me you have a Charizard coming. Fairy energy and Bill's analysis. Staring with envy. <laughs> I want to read, but I love this stream. I usually listen to replay at work. Oh, cool, man. We have Scyther, Metapod, Magmar, Cubone, Voltorb, Geodude, Eevee. Clefairy, Reverse Hollow Golem, and Full Art Giovanni's Exile. Whew. Next pack. So far, the pulls are okay. We're still looking for a mind blowing pull. We want a top five pull. Misty's Bending Over, Brock's Gym, Giovanni's Exile, Magikarp, Ekans, Voltorb, Geodude, Pikachu. <laughs> Fairy Energy again, and Snorlax. One, two, three, four. We have Chansey, Brock's Grit, Scyther, Magikarp, Geodude, Clefairy, Eevee, Ekans. Shiny Curlia, nice. Place her over here. Next pack. One, two, three, four. We have Brock's Grit, Farfetch'd, Graveler, Cubone, Voltorb, Geodude, Eevee, Clefairy, Reverse Hollow Cubone, and Blaine's Last Stand. Next pack. One, two, three, four. Chansey, Misty's Gym, Suggestive Sabrina, Charmander, Magikarp, Slowpoke, Clefairy, Coughing, Reverse Hollow Arbok and Holographic Zapdos. Whew, there's so many packs, man. One, two, three, four. Flip this around. We have Magmar, 
Misty's Gym, Charmeleon, Fultorb, Pikachu, Ekans, Coughing, Paris, Fighting Energy, and Bill's Analysis. I don't know how many packs we're in. Here we go. Koga's Trap, Lieutenant Surge, Misty's Bending Over, Cubone, Jigglypoof, Eevee, Caterpie, Paris. Fairy Energy again. You've been cursed with the Fairy Energy. Tell this Fairy Energy to get its fanny out of here. 100 viewers. How's it going, everyone? Wow, we did get a lot of viewers. I didn't even notice. Get that in a nice pile. How much for Hollow Fighting Energy? He will sell it to you for $240, I heard. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Here we go. Koga's Trap, Brock's Grit, Misty's Bending Over, Voltorb, Pikachu, Jigglypuff, oops, Ekans, Coughing, Dark Energy, and Brock's Training. Get out of here, energy cards. We're trying to pull the full art shinies. What the frick? I'm trying to take these spots up, man. Here we go. Suggestive Sabrina, Charmeleon, Chansey, Eevee, Clefairy, Psyduck, a solid four. <laughs> Reverse Hollow Brox, Pewter City Gym, and Starmy GX. We'll take Starmy GX. So those, were, those were some cold packs in a row there. Let's see what we got at the end. One, two, three, four. Sabrina, Charmeleon, Chansey, Psyduck, Magikarp, Staryu, Slowpoke, Voltorb, Shiny Zorura. Nice. That's actually a decent pull. Next pack. One, two, three, four. Sabrina Suggestion, Charmeleon, Chansey, Pikachu, Charmander, Voltorb, Coughing, Ekans, Reverse Hollow Erica's Hospitality, and Raichu GX. Next pack. One, two, three, four. Flip this around. We have Magmar, Brock's Grit, Chansey, Pikachu, Voltorb, Coughing, Cubone, Geodude, Reverse Hollow, Chansey, and Weezing. We have two packs left. Wow, that went by so fast. Crazy. One, two, three, four. Last two packs, everyone. We have Jinx, Pokemon Center, Lady, Metapod, Ekans, Psyduck, Staryu. Christopher Bounds says that was a waste. Wow, dude. You gotta stop commenting on the, the price of things. This doesn't make it very fun. Let's go to Hidden Fates. Pack number 36. One, two, three, four. Koga's Trap, Misty's Gym, Lieutenant Surge, Magikarp, Geodude, Clefairy, Eevee, Ekans, Shiny Reshram, and Erica's Hospitality. I do agree with them. I think that the pulls for the booster box were a little lighter than I was hoping for. I was hoping for him to pull honestly one of the top five cards because it was 36 packs i tell you what toxic i'm gonna throw in a bonus packs because i like you you're gonna get one more pack you did get the shiny reshiram at the end but no shiny charizard unfortunately here we go last pack toxic you get this is your bonus pack you ready bonus pack could be anything we have Misty's Gym, Sabrina Suggestion, Pokemon Center Lady, Slowpoke, Psyduck, Pikachu, Magikarp. It's funny, but you say the names too many times. Oh my god, these energy cards. Killing me, man. All right, an Onyx GX. That was the bonus pack. Slide it in here. Yeah, I was hoping you would pull the Shiny Charizard, actually. Uh, Christopher Bounds, you're a businessman. You always got to look at things in terms of their value. Okay, uh, well, I'm looking at your comment, and I don't like the value of your comment. How do you think about that? Hmm? What do you think of that, Christopher Bounds? Reshram GX, move the star you. Giovanni's Exile. Yeah, don't bum people out. Not about that. So here we go. Reshram GX, Zorura, Curlia, Alolan Vulpix, Giovanni's Exile, Raichu, Onyx, and Starmie. And I wouldn't say that I'm a businessman. I would say that I'm a content creator. Here we go. Nice, dude. So this is your pulls for the second half of the box. Starmie and Charizard GX. Wellix wants the Onyx. <laughs> I bet he does. <laughs> 
Let's try this as well. So this was the first half of the box. You have Charmander, Charmeleon, Fermosa, Jesse and James, Zygar, Altaria, Matang, and the second Jesse and James. Move that over here. Leg reveal. Here we go. Well, it's going to have the... Ch <laughs> One, two, three, four. Move the Zygarde up here. Yeah, no shiny Charizard here. That's too bad. How much for a Japanese vintage pack? Uh, the Japanese vintage packs are $45 each. The shipping's already included. Shiny Charmander, best boy. Yeah, if we're going by value, I actually suspect these two are the highest value in the set. So it would probably be these two and then the Reshiram, if I had to guess. And Zorura might actually be worth more than Zygarde as well. I don't know about Curly and Alo and Vulpix. I'd have to look them up. All right, Toxic. What the heck? You got a lot of these energies. What was with these fairy energies? It was like, here, have another fairy energy. It's like, no, I don't want another fairy energy. Do you have any more vintage pins? I do have more vintage pins. Weekend Wolf says Japanese rocket packs are 45 bucks. Yes, they are. Yeah, look at this. You got all the reverse hollow energy cards. I will send Ludes of Economist for an evolution. I don't think you've got the Ludes. Let's go ahead and get these packed up real fast. Oh. Some Cosmic Eclipse, please. Those are for my wife, Natalie. All right, Natalie. Sweet. How am I going to box these? Let me think about this for a minute. I'm going to box them really nice. So it's a lot of, let me do this with the paper. I did this earlier and I thought it was actually pretty nice. Natalie says, thank you, babe. <laughs> oh, actually, is this gonna be tall enough? One moment. Oh, it's not tall enough. Oh, snap. Well, hold on then. Can you message me on Discord and let me know what cards in my stash would be best to grade? Uh, the Charmeleon and the Charmander are best to grade. Uh, the Zorura Aloan, Vulpix, and Curlia should all be considered, and then the Reshiram probably should be considered as well. I don't know enough about Zygarde. Um, let me go ahead and tape this up. I don't know if I would consider the GX cards. Maybe the GX Charizard. this over like this. God Terror Boy says, I was so close to Behemoth Solo. Come on now. Huh, I like packing the cards this way when it's bulk cards. It's a nice, very clean way to pack things. You guys like watching me pack the cards? Might get a rocket pack. Oh, very cool. We can wolf. We can wolf is thinking about a rocket pack. All right, here we go. So there's one stack. Let's get the second stack all folded up as well. 
Those are all the rare cards. Let me grab another sheet of paper. There we go. So a whole sheet is tall enough to accommodate the entire stack. <laughs> so many cards here. All right. Nice. Oh, that feels so good. <laughs> um, the cards I would have graded would be these two for sure. These two I would not think too hard about. Um, although, I will mention, let's see this Charmeleon. The centering on the Charmeleon is off very slightly. I don't know if they take you down a grade for that. Depends on how harsh they want to grade, but it's, it's slight, I would say. About the back of the card. Yeah, it's, I, it's not so much on the back. If it is, it's very light on the back. So it is a very slightly off center. I think I read somewhere that they don't necessarily bring you down a grade if it's slightly off center. But I don't know how true that is. I know PSA does not grade as hard, harsh as Beckett. Well, this one looks really good. Yeah, the Charmander looks really, really good. I wouldn't worry too much about grading the... Or what I'm saying is I wouldn't be afraid to grade him at all. Oops. them in here. I'll let you think about that toxic. Uh, the Reshiram is certainly worth thinking about as well. I don't know about the Zygarde. Oh, they'll say ran on the front. I'll just draw a line through that real fast. Let's see, the Reshiram, the Zor Ura is probably worth it. Zygarde may be worth it. Curlia may be worth it. Alolan Vulpix may be worth it. I don't know about Feromosa. I feel like she's not the most popular Pokemon, but Altaria and Metang, are, these are all decent, all of these. But out of them, I would suspect Reshiram, Zor Ura, and maybe this Alolan Vulpix are probably the best ones because they're so cute, right? So these are very cute, and this is a full art. Zygarde's also one of the full arts, and so people who are looking to finish their collection will probably go after him. It's, it's, you'd be surprised. A lot of it is supply and demand. So even though these two are a very safe bet, because everyone's going to want to have these, what's going to happen is a lot of these will end up being graded. So when you go to buy them, uh, there will be an increased demand, but an increased supply. Whereas for a card like Zygarde, there may be fewer people grading the Zygarde, but there might also be a lower demand. It all depends. So I've, I've had a lot of time to analyze it and think about it myself. I just grade everything that's pretty much gradable. That's how I just do it. If it looks like it has a chance for a 10, I just send it in. I don't think about it. I know you guys are spending a lot of money on the grading. 
uh, myself as well, to be honest. I, I don't send my cards in right away. So if I have a card that looks gradable, what I'll do is I'll decide to hold it onto it for a long time, just keep it preserved. So you can do that too. If you don't want to grade these cards right away, just keep them safe, keep them in a good condition. All right, let me put this into a bag for you. I'll put the Char Charmeleon in front. I think he looks even more fun. <laughs> nice. Thanks for letting us see your pulls, Toxic. That was very fun. That was very cool, man. Hey, Cartonomous, when do you think you're opening Vintage Trainer Box and how much are you selling the packs for? I will be opening up a Team Rocket Vintage Booster Box when it arrives in the mail. Additionally, we have the Japanese box already open. But the Team Rocket Vintage Booster Box that's going to arrive in the mail, the booster packs may cost uh, $180 each. So they're not going to be... These are $45. The first edition Rocket Booster Packs will be uh, probably $180. That's a conservative estimate. They might be higher. It might be $190. All right? So keep that in mind. That's my guesstimation. All right. Put those up there. Sweet. Let's see what's next. Emmanuel is having some cosmic eclipse open for his wife, Natalie. Post that up over there. So this is for Natalie. You guys ready? Pack number one. Pack number two. Pack number three. That's the top of the pack, right? Yes. Pack number four. Good luck, Natalie. Wow, you guys have really cleared my desk off. It's kind of crazy. All right. What do we get in pack number one? One, two, three, four. We have Guzma and Hala, Mimikyu, Lily's Polka Doll, Swirlix, Cricketot, Woobat, Ducket, Ducklet, Helioptile, Reverse Hollow, Slurp, I can't talk, Slurpuff, and Como O. You can tell I'm sleep deprived when I'm tripping over my words faster, sooner, easily. My index is shorter. Oh no, don't tell her that. <laughs> my index is shorter. Cosmog, Reverse Hollow, Lana's Fishing Rod, and Lantern Non Hollow. Pack number three. One, two, three, four. We have Pignite, Zangoose, Gloom, Deerling, Golette, Dupider, Apom, uh, there's an Onyx, Reverse Hollow, Rowlet, and Rosa Holographic. Ooh, I don't think I've seen that card before. Pack number four. My index is shorter too. I have the biggest index, the best index. Toga tomorrow, great catcher. Probopass, Cosmog, Slugma, Whalmer, Ponyard, Togodomaru, Reverse Hollow, Passimian, and Groudon. Last pack. What are we going to pull in the last pack? One, two, three, four. We have Anorith, Gloom, Lana's Fishing Rod, Slugma, Whalmer, Ponyard, Togodomaru, Trap Inch, Reverse Hollow, Lycanroc, and <laughs> Holographic Wishy Washy. All right. So no GXs, no full arts. Unfortunately, this time, I tell you what, I'll give you one of these special Dark Rise if you want it. These are the Dark Rise I give away when you don't pull anything. When you don't pull a GX or better. Will you get the DLC for Pokemon Sword and Shield? I will definitely think about it. I will definitely think about it. I'm currently not playing a lot of Pokemon Sword and Shield, uh, and that's because I was disappointed with the exclusion of the Pokedex. Large hands equal cancer. What? All right, Emmanuel, be sure to contact me on Discord to have these shipped out. I spelled your name wrong. Sorry about that. <laughs> Sweet. All right, we got an empty box over here. Let's talk about what we have going on right now. We've got Unified Minds for Sale. One, two, three, four. This is $23 uh, for five packs. That's what I'm trying to say. 
And then, oh, well, for Cosmic Eclipse, I think I need a new booster box. Here it is. All right, so this is Unified Minds. Oh, that was my cat snoring. Stream, please. What? Show the cat. Can I show the cat? What are you doing, kitty? Sorry, the camera is so shaky. <laughs> so same deal on the booster packs from Cosmic Eclipse. You can have five of them for five of them for twenty-three dollars. That's King Ganondorf. He says vintage pin and sealed vintage Japanese rocket. Can I ask you, uh, which of the pins did you want? I don't actually remember which is which. So we have this little guy. What else do we have? I think we only have three variants. Here's a water one. And I don't remember which one. Tell me left, right, or middle, okay? Because I don't know which is which. <laughs> These are vintage pins from a long time ago. They're actually sealed, too. That was, who was that, King Ganondorf? He says he wants the middle one. All right, no problem. Yep, surprised you remember I had that because I, uh, I don't display it very often. Yeah, this is a vintage pin and it's sealed and everything. Crazy, huh? Set that right here. Okay, and he has asked for a vintage rocket booster pack. Here's the vintage pack. Here it is. These are like from 1999 or 98 or something like that. They're extremely old. Uh, actually, there is a way to look it up. I keep forgetting this. We can actually know when they're from. All I got to do is look up one of my... Here it is. They're from 1998. Wow. 22 years old. Got to remember that. By the way, if anyone wants to just purchase one of these to collect the actual pack... Feel free to. You can tell me to set it aside and not cut it at all. Here we go. And this is going to be for King Ganondorf. He said sealed, please. Oh. <laughs> well, there you go. That's funny because that's exactly what I just said, was it not? I said you can actually collect it sealed. <laughs> no. All right. Not a bad plan. If you do open this at home, I'm sure everyone would be curious what you pulled. So be sure to let us know. Don't worry, if I had opened it, I would have just kept it. It would have been mine. And then I would have given him a different one. <laughs> All right, well, let's get his name on it. How's it going, E-Tech? E-Tech, this will be for Hey, Ganon. Well, the bag's all kind of goofy because it doesn't fit. I do have more of the PSA sleeves coming, and those always look so good when we're selling the cards. So we'll be swapping back over to those. Jay, you're 5'11". Damn, why am I so huge? <laughs> King Ganondorf says, I'm going to buy the two other vintage pins as well. All right. Let me pull one of each of those out. Sounds good, man. Vintage pins. Yep. <laughs> I never advertise that I even have them. They just sit here. Because I, I don't honestly understand their worth. All I know is they're very old. <laughs> Are those pins worth anything? I have the entire set. Uh, I am not sure. 
but those ones are sealed. Okay, yes, yeah, so we have... There we go. Thank you very much, King Ganondorf. We got Unified Minds, guys. We got Cosmic Eclipse. And we have... Some Hidden Fates actually left, not that many. Uh, well, actually, I have to open them up. I've got some over there that I can open up. But the Hidden Fates are three for, t uh, three for $20, right. Yeah, Hidden Fates, three for 20 bucks. I used those pin badges back in 2005 for my Ash Ketchum Halloween costume. Really, that's so cool. 2005. Huh, that's, that's very neat, man. This music behind me is so good. Um, I guess while we wait, uh, I could open up a few cards or I could maybe start working on those collection boxes, start breaking them open and getting the hidden face packs out of them. I feel like opening a few packs. I'll open a few Cosmic Eclipse. Here's one. Oh. Well, we'll just open them as we go. It's that minecart background. Yep, that's right. It's minecart background. <laughs> Floetta, Zangoose, Vaporeon, Drillbur, Swirlix, Cricketot, Woobat, Ducklid, Reverse Hollow Pancham, and Non Hollow Goler. So let me get my piles open here. There we go. I can't hear the background music. Yeah, I don't have it playing super loud or anything. What cards in my other collection are grade worthy? I'm probably going to get that muck graded just waiting on next check before I decide for everything else. Hmm, that's a great question. One, two, three, four. Uh, what we could do is take a quick look at your cards. Tepig, and Aloha and Snow Runt, Coughing, Drill Burr, Reverse Hollow, Magnemite, and Armaldo. I'm, I'm not used to having the cards be mine. <laughs> Pack number three. What are we going to get with pack number three? Bisharp, Torkoal, Gloom, Onyx, Tepig, Alone Sandshrew, Snow Run, Coughing, Reverse Hollow, Magneton. Cool. Oh, nice. Oh, my wife will love this. A low in Persian GX is Pac-Man. <laughs> she likes the low in Persian. She actually used them when she did her playthrough of Sun and Moon. <laughs> All right. So, and I got Magneton. How funny. One of my wife's favorite Pokemon and one of my favorite Pokemon. That's pretty, that's pretty lucky. Let's go ahead and get this into a sleeve. Wife Economist, get her. She's probably asleep by now. She has work in the morning, right? Well, it's only 10. Let me go see. Hold up. I'll go get her. Set my mic down. Let me get these comic cards out of the way. <laughs> All right, I'll go get her and I'll show her. Yeah, she fell asleep. <laughs> I woke her up when I opened the door, uh, but she might come out later to take a look. <laughs> yeah, that's one of her favorite Pokemon, a low in Persian. Sweet. No wife economist. Well, maybe she'll come out later. How's the uh, centering on him? Is centering okay? Nah, centering doesn't look that good. Let's check. It's too thin on the left. I mean, it's not that bad, though. The edges are all clean as well. 
I don't know, maybe I'll, uh, I don't know if I'll consider grading it. Let's get him in a, a holder here. Oops, actually, if it says RAN on it, I might actually think it's RANs. What good pulls did I miss? Uh, well, Symphonia pulled Mewtwo and Mew Full Art. Uh, Wellix got a Full Art Well. I'm sorry, Full Art Grimsley. Uh, Toxic got a whole bunch of pulls from his Hidden Fates booster box. Uh, King Ganondorf has purchased a booster pack of the vintage Rocket cards, but we don't know what's in there. And then Emmanuel bought a pack of Cosmic Eclipse for his wife, but unfortunately, they were all cold packs that time. Sweet. I will hold this out for her and see if she shows up later. Actually, here, I'll keep it a mystery so she doesn't see it if she does come out. <laughs> all right, what do you guys want to do next? Look at that Magneton, man. I should have that Magneton graded. I don't think any of the modern sets had new uh, Magnetons or Magnemite secret rares or anything. Is this the same card economist that is on eBay by chance? It is the same card economist on eBay. In fact, it is. I wonder if that's a bad thing, using the same eBay name as my YouTube name. I don't see why that would be a bad thing though. Speaking of which, if you find something on eBay that you want, buy it from me and uh, buy it from me over YouTube or, or Discord or something because it will be cheaper to do that. eBay charges a ton of fees. Let's see. Let's let's start going over some of Toxic's cards for him. He was talking about which cards he should have graded. So whenever it comes to grading, I always check out full arts. Full arts, I think, are very gradable. You have pulled quite a few cards, Toxic. So let's see. We have Steven's Resolve here. How much are the Japanese Team Rocket packs graded? Oh, that's a great question. I don't actually know. You're talking about the packs themselves? So on this card, I would say if you zoom in very, very close, you can see there's just a little serrated mark right there, like a saw, right? Where it got cut. I don't know if they will take off for that is possible. Otherwise, this card looks very good on the back. And Steven's Resolve is looking really fancy. So he's probably worth considering. Oops. Here's Muck and a low in Muck. Where did this come from? Okay, this appears to be from... Oh, nice. You got that from Burning Shadows too, huh? He's looking a little thin on the top. Is that true behind as well? I think it is. Not on the back, actually. It looks pretty, pretty close, actually. That's pretty neat. I saw the name and pick and figured it was lol. I sold you the PSA no symbol Snorlax. Oh, nice, man. <laughs> I had no idea you had a YouTube channel until I was scrolling Pokemon on YouTube tonight. Oh, nice to meet you, B. Frank. <laughs> okay, so muck and a low mo. Uh, I can't talk muck and a low and muck. If I'm saying that right, is it a lowen or a lowlin? He looks really good, except there's a large strip down here and a thin one up there, and I don't know. See, I don't know what counts as the borders for these when it comes to grading. Will they call that off center? Now for this one, this is burning shadows, is it not? All Snorlax are sexy. He says that's right. <laughs> Actually, funny you mentioned that, B. Frank. I have, um, I've ordered two boxes of Team Up 
for people who would like to try a chance to pull the Snorlax from the team-up set. Now this one's definitely off-center, right? Big border up here, then border at the bottom, and same on the back. So this card is definitely off-centered. Marshadow and Mach uh, Machamp. That's the Machamp I want. <laughs> Pop these back in. Yeah, I would consider the Muck in a low and Muck. I don't know if he would pull a 10. I'm curious if he would, actually. What do we have? It says you've got a few things in here. I can't really peek at them. Well, I have them all. I have Shift Tree in the front. I generally put the best pull in the front. Tapu Finny. Here it is. This is a good pull. Let's see what's here. Cherish Ball. This card's looking really good. I would probably consider grading this Scyther as well. Yeah, you're happy with this one. That's good. Yeah, so I would definitely consider grading this one. I will even put him in a sleeve ahead of time for you because he's so good looking right now. In case you decide to grade that one, I know I probably would. Slide that in. Oh, wait, does this fit? Yeah, it fits. Cherish Ball, Wigglytuff, oh, this is a nice looking card too. Now I might be missing some of your cards because I'm not looking real heavy through everything, but let's see. So Gardevoir and Sylveon, right off the bat, the centering on this looks pretty decent. Oh, it's such a good looking card too. <laughs> Mary's like, I want it. Tyler, you're not going to sell it unless you get the good coochie. All right. So I, I always wondered if these will affect the grading. They, it has like raised corners, right? And to me, that's a sign of actually freshness. But I don't know what they do on the grading for that. Let me show you. See? See that? That little lip? But to me, that looks good. It says the card's that fresh. It's brand, brand spanking new. Uh, I don't know if they take off for that. I, I wouldn't, personally. This card is looking very good. It looks like it could be a 10. This, the Sizer and the Alolan and uh, regular Muck, these are your strongest cards for grading, in my opinion. Oops, got a little stickiness there. Pop that back in. Yeah, that one's looking real good. And what's the last one here? And then, of course, your Charmeleon. You got a Marsh Shadow over here, but that's from Burning, yeah, that's from Burning Shadows. It's gonna have the lip on the back. The, the cutting error on the back. So I don't know if I would grade that one, which is why I stopped buying those. Otherwise, I would have kept buying them. They kept having that error. So disappointing. All right, I'll pop this back up here. Shoop. TCC, did you know they're doing away with fairy types in the card games with the sword and shield? Really? No fairy type in the card game? Why is that? Do you still have the Hidden Fates playmat and some of Shining Legends sleeves available? I have both of those things, yes. Yeah, for those of you who are wondering, it turns out these guys are worth about nine bucks each because they're kind of rare. These are the deck sleeves. Yeah, that's right, be frank, that's the uh, Snorlax. So these deck sleeves, uh, they're kind of expensive because you only get them from the Shining Legends Elite Trainer Box and those are kind of expensive. It's got a really nice black color to it and then it's got kind of like this bronze color for the Ho-Oh. He's one of the legendary birds, right? So yeah, these are, the cheapest one I think was $9 and uh, the more expensive one was like uh, $13, I think. So. 
this whole time I'd just been opening them and using them. I shouldn't have been. <laughs> Should have been saving them and selling them. And then, yes, I have many of the play mats. We saw your face. Shining Legends Elite Trainer Boxes are all over Target Stores, LMFAO. Well, not the one I live at. Dodogama says, when Raging Bat. Hidden Fates ones are nowhere to be found. I was just saying, Hidden Fates is sold out. Yeah, they're not they're not at my stores either. I have neither Hidden Fates nor Shining Legends. Uh, I just have Cosmic Eclipse and... Cosmic Eclipse and probably um, Unified Minds. I can't remember if there's Unified Minds at my stores. I always check because I'm curious if some new product has come out. I was asking for like a signal pack of Team Rocket, says Emmanuel. Yeah, uh, the rent vintage Team Rocket packs for 45 bucks. These haven't been searched or anything. Uh, you guys have watched us open them live, so you know what your odds are in the polls, roughly. Yeah. Although, we don't know what's in King Ganondorf's. Turth Patel says, I'm new to collecting. My little brother just pulled a bilingual secret rare executor from the Evolutions pack. Is it worth anything? Probably not. Probably not. I'm always tempted to open another one of these. I really enjoy opening the rocket boosters. I'm going to have trouble not opening all the rocket first edition uh, booster packs when we're ready there. All right, guys, what would you like to do now? Collect Mary selfies is a better hobby. I want to collect all Mary selfies. Where are all Mary selfies? So let's see. Jump over here. Pull these down. Collect Mary selfies. What? That's crazy talk. I economists want my selfies because I'm going to take them and I'm going to sell them on the second hand market shred a boomer oak shred up if you want Mary selfies what? they're not repacks they're just messed up By the way, we have these lovely jumbo cards of Rayquaza. These are, uh, what are they? Are they $9 now or something? I can't remember. So if you want a Rayquaza jumbo card, let me know. They're really awkward to ship. Place this over here. Sacrifice a boomer to the Poke Gods. A what? A boomer? Shred a Jumbo Rayquaza. <laughs> That's an actual valuable card. <laughs> Just get rid of it. Look how you guys are so willing for me to destroy uh, my cards. <laughs> Should buy a card and have me destroy. How about that? Slowpoke, Clefairy, Coughing, and Wheezing. I'll sell you a boomer oak for 69 cents. <laughs> Don't actually buy one. Do not, because you'll be wasting your money if you do. I'll shred them regardless. Head Nurse, Metapod, Sabrina Suggestion, Jigglypuff, Caterpie, Eevee, Ekans, Charmander. Nice, Shiny Magnemite. Oh, there we go. Moltres, Aptos, Articuno. I love both of these cards. They look great. So the Moltres, Aptos, Articuno, he's a nice little pull. And uh, the Magnemite. I love Magnemite. One of my favorite Pokemon. Well, he looks like he's pretty well centered. All right, not bad. Pop this over here. Why don't I open another one? I got Magnemite, maybe I'll get Magneton. Opening some of my own Hidden Fates. Hidden Fates are my favorite collection right now as well. Never saw that Magnemite before. Oh, I've, I've got a few of them, actually. Chansey, Exile, Koga, 
Clefairy, Jigglypuff, Caterpie, Paris, Psyduck, Eevee, and Weezing. Oh, the Eevee's rare. So is this Magneton, actually. And he's a... Buy packs now and get Mary's Discord with your purchase. Oh my god. Do you think the trainer full art cards in Cosmic Eclipse will be worth grading? Do you send cards to PSA? I do send cards to PSA, yes. So if you want to send a card to PSA, it's I'll send it for you for 18 bucks. Hiker Full Art and Arbok. Look at that mustache. Pop him over here. I will give the luck of the full art, will you? If that's the case. Let's see what we got. Nope, not a full art. <laughs> this is over here. What about me, Mary? How many hidden face boosters have you opened total? Did you get a shiny Charizard? We have opened a crazy number of hidden face booster packs on this channel and we have pulled one charizard so it's he's a very rare pull that's all i can say he's exactly what you think he is how much for the hidden fates play match i want to get it in some packs nice man uh i can't remember what i listed the play mat for was it like nine bucks or something i think it was like nine bucks coughing and charizard all right Place this over here. Nothing mind blowing here. Place this guy in a sleeve. I got too many of these guys now. These were my pulls from that. Charizard, Hiker, Magnemite, Moltres, Zapdos, Articuno. Wow, those are bad pulls. I mean, the Magnemite, I like him, but he's not actually really that valuable. Still selling four Hidden Fates for 23. No, no, no. I, I was never selling four Hidden Fates for 23. I was selling three Hidden Fates for 20 bucks. Three for 20. And yes, they are uh, still for sale if you're interested, for sure. I will have to pull them out of a uh, thing over here, though. Get this coffee over here. Yeah, they were never four for 23. I will go bankrupt. <laughs> I will lose money on each sale. <laughs> Don't shred Sylveon. All right, guys, we're shredding Sylveon right here, right now. Shred. Thoughts on upcoming Sword and Shield? It didn't look good, uh, in my opinion. I thought the upcoming Sword and Shield cards looked kind of ugly. Uh, now, in their defense, the base set for Sun and Moon wasn't that impressive either, in my opinion. Uh, but I'm not sure how I feel about the whole VMAX stuff or whatever it's called. They're just using letters from the... Church says 100% agree. Yeah, they look kind of ugh. I think my bigger concern is that... Christopher says the uber rare rainbow trainers are sick though. Yeah. So my concern is that with the... New card set... It's always going to look ugly, maybe. Because the fact of the matter is... The new Gigantamax Pokemon look kind of ridiculous. That's my biggest concern. We don't actually know what they'll look like as the series con continues. Who knows? I mean, really, you can do anything if you're a clever artist. So I hope they do make really nice looking cards. But the base set for Sun Sword and Shield will probably not be worth a lot of money over time. That's my guess. It's got to look collectible, you know. All right. What do you guys want to do now? I just opened up uh, 50 bucks of Hidden Fates myself. That's me for the night. I don't think I'm going to go any further than that. King Ganis Dwarf says, Are my beautiful Rayquaza still there? They are, actually. Here they are. I kind of taped uh, the sleeves together, the, the uh, hard sleeves together. Totally unrelated, but Game Economist, what's the longest word you know? Um, I don't know. I don't really think of words by their length, I suppose. Unequivocally, that's a pretty long word. Presupposition, <laughs> that's a pretty long word. Your posting on eBay says 970 for the mat. 
if I do $9, is that good? That is good. Nine bucks for the play mat would be fine with me. New Manu, New Manu Ultra Microscopolis. Oh, it already disappeared, the comment. I feel like you were you were getting ready. You were asking me what my longest word was so that you could show me yours. <laughs> You're like, by the way, <laughs> here's mine. Look at that sexy Rayquaza. <laughs> Who's a trick question? <laughs> He's comparing sizes. <laughs> Bro, what's your longest word? <sighs> That's it. <laughs> well, it says Mary's turn to buy cards. When are you going to buy me some cards, Mary? Which Rayquaza is more? Um, this Rayquaza. I don't know. It's the medicinal term for the in inhalation of volcanic ash. Yikes. Best part of the VMAX cards is all the V-card jokes. Got my V-card. Hey, there we are. Symphonia buying some unified minds. Get excited, guys. There you go, King Ganondorf. I know it looks a little messy, but here we go. Unified minds it is. Whoa, followed by Apex. Sounds good, man. We'll hit you up right after them, okay? Right after Symphonia is what I mean to say. All right, Symphonia. Symphonia and his online collection of cards. <laughs> you have like a digital collection of cards over here, Symphonia. Symphonia, Symphonia. He's feeling like he's about to pull Secret Rare Mewtwo. He's like, mm, feeling pretty cute. Might pull Mewtwo. Very good. I'm done for a bit after that one. Yeah, no problem, man. That's understandable. Hopefully you get better pulls than uh, me here. So the U-Turn Boat, Caracostic, Rape Potion, the Doof, Cosmog, Magmar, Cottony, Snow Runt. What are you doing, kitty? Kitty, what are you doing? She's crazy. She's crazy. She hears the cards being dropped and she's like, is he playing a game with me? Sorry, the camera's all shaky. There we go. One, two, three, four. We have Biberel, Tornadus, Jinx, Tynamo, Medita. Yeah, she thinks I'm playing with her because I keep dropping these cards, the energy cards. Karate Belt and Scrafty. Next pack. One, two, three, four. Mary, you really shouldn't be using your body for money cards like that. It's wrong. You can do so much better. Magnemite, Slack Off, Axew. I mean, if I was a hot girl, I'd be getting all the cards. You kidding me? I'd be like, this is me doing better. I'm getting free Pokemon. <laughs> Tranquil, be like, Daddy, you don't understand. <laughs> I'd have two numbers in my phone, and they'd both be Daddy. All right, pack number five. What are we getting in pack number five? We have Azelf, Dedene, Luminian, Shroomish, Tooth Be Tone, <laughs> Doom Biter, Cryogonal, Mariani, Reverse Hollow, Lickitung. See, this would be Daddy 1. And Aloha Marowak, this would be Daddy 2. Oh no, Symphonia! Is it a good thing you pulled two full arts on your first pack, your first set, because this time, oops, this time you got some cold pulls, my friend. Sorry about that. Luckily, you got that Mewtwo and Mew and the Latios back there. Symphonia says, I have a gambling problem. <laughs> Get help. He goes, stop. Get help. Symph. It's only a gambling problem if you lose. If you win, then you are an expert gambler. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Did Mary just say screw unified minds? <laughs> Freaking unified minds. God damn it. <laughs> well, it says I'm cringing. 
Um, oh, right. So Apex Apocalypse bought this mat. So this is the play mat from Unified Minds. Can't really show it to you guys real easily, but it's a it's a lovely mat. It's made out of the same materials a mouse pad would be made out of. Now I'm going to roll this one back up. This is the one I use for a demonstration, but I've got a nice one that is still untouched, and that's the one I'll grab for you. So this will be the one I'm actually sending to you. You can see it's still got the seal on it. And these are nine bucks if you guys are interested in them. Aside from that, he bought Cosmic Eclipse. Kitty, I'm not playing with you. What are you doing, Kitty? See, she's trying to attack me. I'm telling you, she does this when we're playing uh, games as well. She'll like claw me. It's crazy. So we're going to do Cosmic Eclipse and Hidden Fates, which we have right here. She's going all crazy right now. I read that right. Yes, Cosmic Eclipse and Hidden Fates. Here we go. Are you ready, Apex? Kitty just thinks it's all a game. She doesn't know doesn't know how hard I'm working right now. She has no clue. One. Oops. Two. Simp, get some cosmic eclipses, Mary. Don't listen to her, Simp. I'll end up with your home, Simp. Simp, she trying to trick you, man. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Mary says listen to her. <laughs> Pack number one. She's trying to drain your wallet. We have Delmise, Island Challenge Amulet, Curlia, Swirlix, Cricketot, Woobat, Ducklet, Helioptile, Reverse Hollow Flabebe, Nice, and Full Art Solgaleo, and Lunala. Wow, on your first pack, that's pretty good. You got four more of the Cosmic Eclipse. All right, pack number two. One, two, three, four. Tag call, Delmise, Chaotic Swell, Helioptile, Cosmog, Slugma, Whalmer. Kitty, what are you trying to do? She's going to knock all my stuff down. Holographic Victini. Dude, she's trying to knock my stuff down. Get out of here, Kitty. Here, go play with this. Oh, my God, she's going to pull down my well stacked stuff over here i got all this stuff stacked really well for shipping supplies she's trying to pull it down roller skater showing off her booty clefairy pig knight cosmog slugma whalemer ponyard togedomaru reverse hollow natu and heliosk heliolisk heliolisk kitty gonna crash the stream she is gonna crash the stream she's trying to climb on my pile of shipping supplies and it's not able to support her Look at this. This looks so inappropriate. Like, what is up with this Misty and Laura? Look, you just immediately, you see Mary giving you that look, and she's, not Mary, uh, Misty giving you that look. And then she's way too confident, too. It's just kind of like, what? Misty and her dom, something like that. Togodomaru, Togodomaru, Trap Inch, Flabebe, Tangela, Duskull. Nice. Trainer Art, Excadrill, and Glalie. I will do you... A favor, put this in a sleeve. And then let's grab the last pack from the Cosmic Eclipse pulls. One, two, three, four. It looks appropriate to me, says Tony. Oh, Tony. Zangoose, Gloom, Celio, Trapinch. Oh, who's that? Girls will be like that. Oh, no. What even is Tangela? Is this like a Japanese octopus monster? Hentai monster? Duskull, Tim Pull. Rufflet and beware. Nobody ever explains what Tangela is. Tangela. Like, is it Vines? You don't know if it's actually Vines. I'm just going to change his name out. No more Tangela. That's the Hentai monster. Suggestive Sabrina. Very determined Misty. Metapod. Eevee. Spoiled Spaghetti. <laughs> Jigglypuff. Coughing. Staryu. Ekans. Butterfree. And Blaine's Last Stand. You got two more packs of Apex. Good luck. These are your Hidden Fates pulls. 
we want to see something nice in your Hidden Fates pulls. Everyone's after that Charizard. Maybe you will see it. Maybe you will not. Probably you won't. Magikarp, Ekans, Voltorb. Nice. Shiny Malamar. I must say Brock's training right away. Shiny Malamar. I'm like trying to move on to the next card in my mind. I'm not done talking about the first one. Last pack. We're not done. One more pack here. One, two, three, four. Flip this around. We've got Brock's Grit. Oops. Koga's Trap. Misty, Cerulean City Gym. Ekans, Cubone, Magikarp, Geodude, Clefairy. What? He's upside down. And Weezing. What the hell? Dude, you pulled a Charmander. This is a very good shiny Pokemon pull. Wow, he was packed upside down. That's so strange. <laughs> All right. He's a little off center. It looks like this bar appears a little large. Nice. I thought Lickitung was girl's best friend. Lickitung, Tangela. Which Rayquaza is more grade worthy of mine? Uh, are you asking me to analyze each of your Rayquazas? Because I'm probably not going to do that. Are you hoping to send one off like before I ship the cards to you? Uh, what I could do maybe is analyze them when I'm, it's time for me to do shipping, but I don't know if I want to do that in the middle of the live stream. Middle of the live stream. I will have to cut them apart and take them out of their sleeves and stare at them. So, King Ganondorf, are you hoping to send one off for grading? I actually thought a few of them actually looked pretty good. As my first purchase on the stream, I'm sending a Burning Shadows box to GC. Are you really? Okay, so this was Apex the Apocalypse. Nice, dude. You got the playmat coming. Remind myself when I'm doing the shipping to grab that. If I can find one, where would I find one? Uh, you can look up for a uh, Burning Shadows booster box on eBay if you wish. Need a job first. Buy packs now and get Mary's armpit picks. Oh man, I always wanted. Do you shave? Because I would really prefer it if you didn't. And then sent a picture. Symphonia says, girls be like that. Uh, Symphonia, which booster packs were you having me open here? Is it going to be uh, Cosmic Eclipse or is it going to be Unified Minds? One, two, three, four, five. And let me get, grab five fresh Unified Minds. One, two, three, four, five. Get one of those nice hairy pits like the girls in Europe. Cosmic Eclipse. Sounds good, man. Girls do be like that. Is it a rainforest, Mary? What? Save for years. I like to dread the hair on my taint. Mmm. That smells good. Three. It's like Amazon rainforest. Four. And five. This chat is killing me. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> you guys ever seen... I don't know what we can talk about in this chat, actually. I don't know how many kids there are. Great Catcher, Probo Pass, Torkoal, Sandy Gast, Sfeel, Cottony, Rowlet, Phantump, Reverse Hollow Whalmer, and Alolan Muck. Pack number two. What can we and can we not talk about? Welcome to the gang, be frank. Walmart has an elite trainer box for sale. Dot, 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 dot. <laughs> Pangaro, Phantom, anyone here ever seen two girls, one cup? Nope, no one's ever seen that. Eevee, Flabebe. Actually, one day that will be a very old video. 2730. Woo! One, two, three, four. We have Ambipon. Ambipom, Lana's Fishing Rod, Vaporeon, Alo and Grimer, Ma Magnemite, Eevee, Flabebe, oh Jesus Christ, man, Sneasel, Gallade, we'll get him into a sleeve, and is that a holographic Raichu? I think that's a non holo Raichu. So here we are, Gallade, nice. Pack number four. 
kids shouldn't be up this late. It's 1047 for me. We have Rapid Ash. Fiber, that's Rapid Ash. Purple Pass. <laughs> Sneasel. Natu. Trap Pinch. Sfeel. Passimian. Reverse Hollow. Chinchow. And Credilly. I thought the best part of 2G1C was when the girl stuck her. What? Killing me too. This is the first live stream I've watched. Red and blue. Oh, we're back. Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. I'm just going to give it a second so that the uh, stream clears up for you guys and looks high quality. Attack of the kitty. <laughs> That's right. The cat attacked us. So, Deerling, Golet, Dupider, Amber, uh, Apom, Onyx. Nice. Mimikyu full art or Mimikyu trainer art. Whew. And that's going to be all five of the packs. I will do you a favor. I'll open up one more pack, okay? This is on me, Symphonia. Symphonia, you didn't get any pulls. I always feel bad when nobody gets a pull. I know that you played Minesweeper on the last run. We're going to see if we can do a little better for you. So we have Will, Mimikyu. This is pack number six. It is the bonus pack. You're welcome for the bonus pack. It included Draw Energy and Stoutland. I'm so sorry, Simph. No good pulse this time. Glade and Mimikyu. And let's see. What do we want? Oh, right. We're going to put them in here. Actually, I think that the uh, Mimikyu looks really nice. It's not a full art. I, I think it's a... I'm just a cautionary tale, says Symphonia. To be honest, I love both of those cards. God Terror Boy says, I did it. Finally, the Behemoth solo. Nice, man. It only took four hours. It's not so bad. Can you just see the centering of the Rayquaza? Because I'm just curious. Well, they're all taped together. King Ganondorf, they're all taped together. So I, I could do that. Um, but I'm probably not going to. <laughs> He's like, show me the Rayquazas. He's like, oof, oofed. All right, Toxic, finally getting hidden. I'm going to try to get the Extremeth roll, too. Oh, very cool, man. Yeah, I should get that as well, I think. Symphonia, Symphonia. Is it autocorrected to HOI instead of boy? Hoi! <laughs> Five more Cosmic Eclipse. Are they hot? Maybe. And here's five Unified Minds as well. Thank you so much, Symphonia, for being our Minesweeper tonight. So go ahead and move this over here. And then we will grab three Hidden Fates. And that's it for the Hidden Fates. So we got three for 20 Hidden Fates. We have... Symphonia says, hi, I'm back. Five for $23, Cosmic Eclipse. And... Five for $23 Unified Minds. That's what we have tonight. If you guys want to open any other packs, I already opened $50 of Pokemon cards myself. Actually, more than that, because I opened one or two of those Cosmic Eclipse as well. So I have already dug myself into a hole as well. The Groudon is Dodo's favorite. Mary says, what do you want for them? What do you want for them? What are you talking about? What are you talking about, Mary? Ooh. He says, you got Rainbow Rare Persian. You're good, question mark. Uh, I'll probably give that to my wife. I don't even know if I'll have it graded. She likes uh, low in Persian. Pull this over here. You guys want a code card, by the way? I haven't given out any codes today. What are you doing over there, kitty? She thinks she can just chill out over there.
don't forget to send my codes. No problem, Toxic. Christopher says, show more kitty. I wonder if she would look over here. Kitty, what are you doing? She doesn't know she's on the internet. <laughs> Oops, that's all zoomed in. Kitty is not amused. That's right. She's like, what the hell? One of her eyes looks messed up. It's not. Her eyes are not mixed up. Sure says, what other sealed product you got? Uh, we just have the three sealed... Pro oh, well, um, actually, I do have some other things. Let me mention it real fast. One moment, though. I'm trying to get you guys some more hidden fates. All right, so we have the Unified Minds, the Cosmic Eclipse, Hidden Fates. We also have these. These are 22-year-old vintage Japanese booster packs of Team Rocket. They always come with a holographic card. All right, so these packs are always holographic. Uh, so these are for sale for 45 And then, ooh, we've got uh, Gym Heroes, which uh, you could... You could probably buy this from me for a ton, and we've got Team Rocket booster boxes as well. Uh, oh, and I've got four of these left, and then I'm out of them. Let me show you. No, her eyes aren't messed up. She just looks goofy like that when she's resting. Her, her eyes are actually very good. See, this is Scyther, and let's see what else. How much can I buy your cat? You want to buy my cat? I will sell you my cat. She always causes trouble. These are $55 each. These are jungle packs. You can get one of each art, all three of them. And this can just be added to your collection. If you say so, G. Yeah, I, I know. She, she'll she do that. She'll look that way sometimes, but the, her eyes aren't actually mess, messed up. She like goes into a relaxation mode and it's like her eyes like go off to the side like this. But when she's actually playing and interacting, she focuses very well. All right. <laughs> Let me grab another $55 for a kitty on eBay. That's right. I will sell you my cat for... Here, see, look. Oh, God. Gosh dang it. I can't zoom in. Huh, that's so weird. Actually, her eyes look different on the... Uh... I'm looking at her in real life, and I'm looking at her on the iPhone, and the iPhone, her eye does look messed up. It doesn't look that way in, in life, or real life. Is it the lighting? That's so weird. I see what you guys are seeing now. I think it's the lighting. So if you look at her in real life, her eyes actually look correct. But if you look at her in the iPhone, it looks like one of her eyes gets messed up. It's got to be the lighting. Yeah, it's definitely the lighting. I see what you guys are saying now, though. Weird. All right. I'm just pulling out these hidden fates for you guys. 150 for the fluffy. The cat looks lightly played. Probably only would grade at an eight. <laughs> lightly played cat. <laughs> oh, the Mimikyu card is actually valuable, you're saying. Oh, that's interesting. Well, that's good. That's good. Glad you pulled it then. Because if it's worth $5 then it might actually be worth a few dollars after it's graded. It might be worth more than five. I heard 150. Do we have 200? Do we have 200? What do you guys think? you think I could be one of those auctioneer guys who does all the talking, the ramble? It's like that auctioneer rat rant. Three trillion. Hey, TCC, is 20 for three fates and nine for the mat. Yes, it is, actually, AFK. The mat is $9, and I do three hidden fates at a time for 20 bucks. That's... What I'm really charging you is 18 for the Hidden Fates and then $2 for shipping. But the reality is shipping is like $4. So, well, I guess that means it's more like 16 and I pay 4 for the shipping. So it's 16 for 3. $16 for 
Siamese cats have an astigmatism for, for breeding? What? From breeding? Not mine though. Mine. That's not a Siamese cat. She's a ragdoll. Her, her eyes are fine. It was just looking weird through the iPhone. Here you go. Okay, AFK is buying a mat as well. Sweet. I'm glad somebody's buying the mats because honestly, I've had them for a while. And I only just listed them on eBay. I should have listed them a long time ago. I don't know why it took so long. I guess I procrastinated. Does anyone have a shiny Charizard? I've got one. You gonna buy it from me? <laughs> one moment. Kitty is sold to that one raging bat. Can I buy you, Game Economist? You can buy a night with me, but you're gonna have to pay pretty good. <laughs> if it's, it's see, if I charge too low, people are gonna think that I'm some cheap prostitute. But if I charge actually quite a lot, people will call me a fancy escort. See, that's how it works. All right, and that's all of my hidden fates, and then I'm out of them. Hey, game economist, should I mess you in Discord about setting up a day for the hard carry? Yeah. Uh, if you're up after this, we could try to do it after this, actually. What time is it? Oh, I don't know. Well, that would be pretty late in the night. Um, maybe, uh, yeah, We let's get a, like a schedule going or something. I think a schedule would, would work well. So, actually, AFK purchased some Hidden Fates. Let's move these out of the way. That's Unified Minds. This is Cosmic Eclipse. Hard carry. Pfft. Well... T taste tacos going it's not like in the past where i would actually log in for somebody we're just going to play together and i'll we'll all right one two three pack number one here we go actually afk oh shadow gaming says that there's lag should i wait Lag gone now. I so. Okay, good. Giovanni's Exile, Kogo. Lieutenant Surge's Strategy, Coughing, Cubone, Geodude, Jigglypuff, Star U. Oh, Shiny Zygarde. Nice, dude. That's full art Zygarde. Okay. Huh, we've had two of him pulled tonight. Interesting. Pack number two. One, two, three, four. Not looking for the old hard carry, just trying to get to the end game faster for sure, man. Farfetch, Star You, Voltorb, Pikachu, Jigglypuff, Ekans, Reverse Hollow Water Energy, and Erica's Hospitality. Oops. And here we go. Pack number three for actually AFK, because he is actually AFK. Look, regular water energy. And Misty's Determination. Jinx, Head Nurse, Slowpoke. Psyduck, Pikachu, Magikarp, Coughing, Shiny Garchomp, nice, and Lapras. Overall, not bad pulls for three packs. Full Art Zygarde and Shiny Garchomp. All right, and we'll go ahead and grab a bag for this. My wife will find out what... I was your wife. <laughs> Move this over here. Nice. B Frank's like love triangle. Hmm. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Look at these beautiful cosmic eclipse. Love octagon. I want to love Octagon. That sounds like a swinger party, to be honest. Unified minds, unified minds. I wonder if we could have interesting conversations in the Pokemon card streams, the way we do in the uh, 
Monster Hunter streams. I don't know what we would talk about, though. Apex says, don't tempt me. I love Cosmic Eclipse. What are the best pulls from Cosmic Eclipse? Sure, so... Cosmic Eclipse, one of the reasons why I chose it as a booster set that we would buy a lot of is because it gives you a chance for another Charizard. You get Charizard and Brixen from this set. This is the full art. Uh, there's actually a secret rare as well. So you would want the secret rare Charizard Brixen. That is the card you're after. That's the most valuable card. There are some other cards as well. Uh, why don't I look them up real fast? Have you pulled a Charizard, says Nick. Yes, so that's my Charizard from Hidden Fates from a while ago. This is Powernap's Charizard. He pulled it from Unbroken Bonds uh, just like three days ago, I want to say. Reshiram and Charizard. So the answer to your question is yes. Locke says, do you still have three Hidden Fates steel? Yes, I do. So if I look this up, can I find... Oh, not that. Hold on. I want the price guide. Okay, here we go. TCG price guide. And we're going to jump over to Cosmic Eclipse. So it goes Charizard and Brexen, then Cynthia and Caitlyn, then Arceus, Dialga, and Palkia Alternative Art. After that, it goes Rosa, Mallow and Lana, Red and Blue, Arceus, Dialga, and Palkia Secret Rare, Reshiram and Zekrom Secret Rare, Tag Call Secret Rare, Great Catcher Secret Rare, and Giant Hearth Secret Rare. Then you have Reshiram, Zekrom, Full Art, Arceus, Dalga, Full Art, Megalopunny. So the top five, again, is Charizard and Brixen, Secret Rare, Cynthia and Caitlyn, Full Art, Arceus, Dialga, Alternative Art, Rosa, Full Art, and then Malo and Lana, Full Art. Those are the top five for Cosmic Eclipse. Those would be the ones you're looking for. The Reshiram, Zekrom card is so nice in my opinion. I know, man. Yeah, it'd be interesting if somebody pulled it. It's quite a few good pulls from the uh, Cosmic Eclipse set. Same with the Unified Minds, in my opinion. I really would like to see another Mewtwo and Mew. TCC, is the regular Zard in Reshiram GX worth grading? Uh, yes, I would say it is. You're talking about the full art. And I would say that it is worth grading if, you're, if you think you have a very good chance of a 10. Do you have any first edition Charizards? Uh, I do, actually. Not from base set. Let's see. So here's a Jim Heroes first edition Blaine's Charizard. This is the base set Charizard. It's a shadow list, but it's not first edition. First edition shiny Tar. And here's a first edition Dark Charizard as well. They drafted me for World War III when I'm only 16. <laughs> I'm too young. I sold my first edition base Charizard for 400 So sad. <laughs> Should have kept it. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Fan got his files filled and never got to discharge. Aww. <laughs> Fortunate son plays in the distance. <laughs> hey oh, what's happening? Logs. Pokemon cards are like tattoos. You get one, and it's a slippery slope. Oh, no. <laughs> you get one, and it's a slippery slope. Let's see what Logs pulls this time. Give me my charge blade guide, you freak! Maybe we'll work on that tomorrow. I uh, have not even started on that. I took the weekend off, so on the weekend, all I've done are live streams. But I do have to get back to work on regular videos so that the editors have uh, opportunity to make money. Because I, I basically give all the money that the video makes to the editors. And in exchange, they give you guys something really nice to watch, which makes me happy. So we have Charmeleon, Chansey, Giovanni's Exile, Voltorb, Geodude, Eevee, Clefairy, Caterpie, 
Nice. Secret Rare Shrine of Punishment. Oh, yeah. This is, uh, this is basically my bedroom, Shrine of Punishment. And it's looking very clean on the front and the back. Wow, nice. That's a nice card, man. My mom sold all my old cards, except, of course, a few. Just found that out because I asked her the other day out of curiosity. I know, Logs. You got the good BDSM going on. Right, this is Mary's card right here, Shrine of Punishment. Pack number two. Let's see what we got in pack number two. One, two, three, four. Brock, Misty, Chansey, Jigglypoof, Eevee, Caterpie, Paris, Snake, Shiny Lycanroc. That's two for two, dude. Very good pulls for you tonight. Look at that. And the third pack, Punish Me Papa. Papa? You'll have to call me Poppy. One, two, three, four. Shrine of Punishment is where we send all the liberal arts men. No, liberal arts majors get sent to the shredder. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Jinx, Pikachu. Snake, Coughing, Paris, Cubone, Reverse Hollow, Charmander, and Brock's Training. Still really not bad. Three packs, you got Shrine of Punishment and Lycanroc. That's pretty solid pulls there. I don't know which one's more valuable, though. Low battery. We're at 20% battery, guys. We're near the end of the stream. If you were hoping to make any purchases tonight, uh, you're, this is basically your last chance to do it. There you go. This is for our friend Logs. Like Lincoln Logs. Okay, what do we have? If you guys are wanting Pokemon cards, we have five Cosmic Eclipse. It's $20 for the uh, five of them, of, but of course I add the $3 for the shipping. The reality is the shipping's $4, guys, if you didn't know that. I just chuck in the extra dollar myself. Unified Minds, same deal, five for $23. Uh, we also have some Hidden Fates. Hidden Fates are three for 20. So you would get these three and it would be 20 bucks. I told you, I told you to buy them. What a night, guys. Man, I went through I went through like 60 bucks, 70 bucks of cards myself. Still no shiny Charizard. Where's that damn shiny Charizard? I swear to God, he's hiding. Mary says, now look what you've done. Shake my head. Nick says, I'm hungry. You're hungry? Let them eat cake. That's the price to make more content, TCC. Ah. <laughs> You know, I feel like, you know, I do, I, I break even on the cards pretty easily. The real cost is actually all the time it takes to do the shipping. No, don't go. I want to talk to you guys some more. Yeah, the shipping time, I spend like two, three hours shipping. And it's like, I probably should have been making another Monster Hunter video because those actually do pay out, uh, you know, ad revenue from posting a video. But I enjoy this so much, but... It's kind of funny. This is like taking over my life a little bit. The cards have. They've hijacked it. Good night, Shift and Raging Bat. You guys hopping off for the night? Move this over here. Whew. GC, you're just doing what you do best. Bless you, Dodo Gama. What? <laughs> Oh, the thing is, I really enjoy pulling the cards. It is fun uh, actually seeing you guys buy the cards and then seeing what your pulls are and opening them up. You know, it's really cool. And I think you guys like seeing what you each other pull, right? What did I get tonight? Curlia, Charizard GX, Hiker, Magnemite, Moltres, Zapdos, Articuno. Not the strongest pulls. These here. These were 50 bucks, these five. Oh, well. That's how it is sometimes. Sometimes you do not get the good pulls. It evens out, I'd say. You know what I mean? Good pulls, bad pulls. In the long run, they kind of balance each other. I suppose that's the way it's got to be for the good pulls to actually have any value, right? Oh, yeah. We got this, too. I'll be giving this to my wife. Alolan Persian. Thanks for the stream. Oh, well, thank you for being a viewer, man. 
hey, we, we broke 100 viewers earlier on in the stream. That's really impressive. Uh, you know, I feel like not too long ago, the stream was just 20 people. Yeah, just 20 people. Tro says, I'm also a YouTuber. It's kind of hard to set up a face cam and live stream, but people tend to, to like the face cam. Nick says, when do you live stream? It's pretty random, but is you can if you run into my main channel stream where I stream Monster Hunter, there's usually a good chance I stream cards right afterwards. But yeah, it's it's so random. I mean, it's, it's terribly random. I would say, terribly random. All over the place. How do you guys like these cards here? These look nice, right? These are from Sun and Moon, various uh, different sets. These are the full art energy cards. Ooh, I'm getting sweaty over here. Dark Raichu, I bought this guy the other day. We picked up that No Symbol Snorlax. He's a great card. This stream is the best ASMR for me. Nice. Emergy. <laughs> of course, this is one of my favorite cards. I thought about buying a booster box of Lost Thunder. I'm telling you guys, the Sun and Moon uh, packs are going up in price, unfortunately. Chiris says, cards get so expensive, I need to stop the addiction. <laughs> no, you need to keep the addiction going. Uh, what you need to do, actually, is be sure that you do always... Put some money aside for your savings. You know, I bought a uh, Nintendo stock the other day. You guys, if you love Pokemon cards, buy a Nintendo stock or two. You don't have to only buy cards. Boomer Oak, is it time to destroy one? I went to the store the other day looking for like a device I could use to set a card on fire, but I couldn't find one. Boomer Oak. Oops. <laughs> He's a bad guy the whole time. Well, I'm not going to dry. Well, maybe I will. Dry? I meant draw. I was going to say, I'm not going to draw a cape behind him, but perhaps I will. It's Boomer Oak, and he has uh, done a magic trick and taken all of the money in the economy and left us with a lot of pollution. He's left us with a lot of pollution uh, and inflation and houses that you can't afford to buy. That's his monocle, by the way. <laughs> so he has his hat, and he's got the uh, the cape, the evil cape, and he's got his little monocle. And you can see he's got a bag of money in his hand. <laughs> so this is Boomer Oak. I trust that guy with my life. <laughs> this is Boomer Oak, and he has done away with all the money in the economy. <laughs> Don't write my name on it, you freak. Boomer Oak is now Penguin from Batman. Something like that. 
Yep. He knows there's no money left in the economy, but he doesn't care. Taryn says, I really like playing games. Been thinking joining the military, and if I make it out alive, I might do YouTube. I might be a YouTuber. Oh, Boomer Oak. We know what to do with you, Boomer Oak. See, Boomer Oak, it, it's not about age. It really isn't. It's not about his age, okay? There are actually lots of old people that did incredible things their whole lives, and then they got older, and it's like, really, they were just a good thing for your society. Boomer Oak's a very specific kind of old person. He polluted, he voted terribly so that the economy would be gutted, and now he wants to vote for socialized health care so that you pay for his health care as well. Oh, hold on. Let me mute this. Mute that music because I'll probably get copyright struck. Don't shred Mary's sugar daddy. <laughs> oh my god. Dude, I would have bought that card. Freak you, says Apache Vibes. <laughs> good guy boomer. Yeah, there's good guy boomers out here. Boomer Oak is not a good guy boomer. Boomer Oak is specifically a bad guy boomer. Bad guy boomer Oak. You see, the reason he's wearing his Hawaiian, his Hawaiian shirt, the reason why he's wearing that, B. Frank says, I still might buy that card. <laughs> no, he's, he's suited for the shredder, I think. Oh, B. Frank's never seen one of these live streams. Oh, B. Frank, you're in for a treat. So Boomer Oak, after bankrupting the, the country and, and then polluting the country and finally you know, he, he needs, like, health care, but he didn't save any of his money because he's always in vac on vacation in, like, Hawaii and shit like that. But now he needs you to pay for his stuff. And he's like, you guys don't mind if I take your money, right? Because young people don't need socialized health care. It's actually old people who need socialized health care, mostly. They're the ones who get, like, really expensive cancers and everything. So he's like, why don't I go ahead and give myself socialized health care now? And you guys can deal with the cost of that. So this is what you've never seen before, be frank. This is the card shredder brought to you by Wellix. Thank you, Wellix. And what you do with a bad card like Boomerook is you send him through the shredder. And this is a sacrifice to the pokey gods, you see? So we've got, I, I want to point out, this is not an automatic shredder. I'm, I'm complicit in the destruction of Boomerook. I actually have to crank the shredder. You see, so it's almost like I'm committing the murder. The machine's not committing the murder. I'm doing it. It all makes sense now, B. Frank says. Here it is. See you later, Boomer Oak. Paste. And look, sometimes we don't finish shredding them. Sometimes we take them out so that we can look at what we've done. We can look at the horror of the shredder. This is Boomer Oak. Sorry, Boomer Oak. We won't be paying your health care anymore. That would be ridiculous. You've already bankrupted the country. <laughs> it's amazing. Look how nicely it shreds them. Beautiful. All right. Boomerang goes into the pile. We have made... Let's see this. his socialized medicine fixed that. Uh, oh. <laughs> Just dropped the handle. Now, actually, if you guys have ever heard of my political opinions, which I know you all love politics, um, I actually do support socialized health care for young people. I don't like the idea of socialized health healthcare for the elderly. I think that they're the ones who actually need the socialized healthcare uh, because they have lived for like 50 years, but they didn't save up their money. I don't know why. They lived in like some of the most prosperous times economically ever. And they just, I don't know, they didn't, they didn't save. Uh, and now is a question of how much money should we spend on socialized healthcare I think we already spend an enormous amount. I don't know how much I would like to increase it, but I would like to think that young people can get rich just like old people can. And that will be very hard if you guys spend your whole life paying crazy amounts of taxes. You'll just be poor. You will stay poor, and that will be the end of it. What's your favorite EV evolution? Hmm. My favorite EV evolution. Umbreon, probably, like everyone else. I guess that makes me a basic bitch. <laughs> yeah, I think Umbreon looks pretty good. I'll pay $10. I want you to pick one random evolution of your choice, write your name on it, and sell it. 
Uh, I could do that. Wait, what is the question? Write your name and mine on it and sell it. Oh, that's different. <laughs> she wants a, she wants a, I don't know about that, Mary. <laughs> um, that's something I would have to think about, Mary. <laughs> I like money, but I, I only like so much money. <laughs> sign a card and sell it then. Uh, okay, if I were to sign a card, We can make another lewd, um, we can make another lewd wick. Do you guys want to make another lewd wick? Where are my lewd wicks? Dabbing Curlia. We can make her uh, a, uh, what are they called? Visco girl? I can't remember what those are called. Nope. Thick wick. Running out of time in this live stream. If you guys were intending to buy any cards, you do not have a lot of time left to do it, okay? So last time we sold a thick wick. It was a signed special holder. It was the holder actually, not the card that, that I think I wrote on. We're gonna do that again. We're gonna use one of, oops, we're gonna use one of these nice ho -oh cards because she's a ho. Oh, all right. I suppose if I messed this up, I'll just throw the holder away. Well, hold on. Symphonia. The gods have been pleased. The gods have been pleased. That's right. We're going to have to put Wick to the side and see what Symphonia pulls tonight. Good luck, Symphonia. Hopefully better than your previous pulls. You got some rough pulls earlier. Well, first you got the full art Latios and the, sorry about that camera shake, guys. And the full art Mewtwo Mew. Symphonia spending cash, mad cash, bro. I know, man. Thickness won't cure my depression. Big, sad. Don't ever call my wife that again, TGC. What are you talking about? My wife? One, two, three, four. Phone dies right when Charizard is pulled. Pullerid. Farfetch, Brock's Grit, Magikarp, Slowpoke, Clefairy, Coughing, Voltorb, Reverse Hollow Coughing, and Blaine's Last Stand. Get out of here, Blaine. Freaking Blaine. Pack number two. One, two, three, four. Graveler, Chansey, Brock's Gym, Staryu, Slowpoke, Voltorb, Pikachu, Ekans, Shiny Charmander again. Wow, that is some great luck. You guys have pulled quite a few Shiny Charmanders tonight. Three of them, actually. Beautiful card. All right, and pack number three. Yeah, I'm a big fan of that Charmander. You know, I like, one of the things about me is I like to think 20 years ahead about which cards are going to matter, and I think Char the Charmander there is really going to remain relevant 20 years from now. Shiny Magnazone again, dude. What? <laughs> you pulled one of those yesterday. And here is Full Art Moltres Zapdos Articuno. That Magnazone be coming for you, though. He's all like, here I am. Sora. Wait, is that the same Sora? Do you got a new... Um... Oops, don't fall over. We got one each. I feel connected to you. Aw. <laughs> All right, and the Charmander is very likely your best pull in this case. Hi, GC. Just got out of a hour nap, and I can't go back to sleep. It's 12 p.m., and I haste work tomorrow. Ah. Sora says, no, it's my first time watching card stream. Interesting. So we might have two Soras watching the card live streams then. So this is also going to be Symph Symphonia. Digimon will make a comeback, will it, though? I don't know if it will. All right, we'll place this right here. For those of you who are unfamiliar with this, you're able to purchase cards in the live stream and have me pull them live for the audience. These are 20 for three. That's Hidden Fates. Cosmic is 23 for five. And Unified Minds is also 23 for five. 
you use the Streamlab link to make a payment. Do not use YouTube Super Chat. The Super Chat takes like 30% of your whatever it is you give. The Super Chat's ridiculous. They don't tell you that too. So now wait. Um, oh, we were making a lewd wick, weren't we? When I make a lewd wick, I, I kind of follow a design I had come up with the other night, just really randomly. Um, what I do is I take her glasses and I turn it into a masquerade mask. See, masquerade masks, they're really sexy because when you go to a lewd party, when you go to your parents' hot orgy, people put on the masquerade masks so that nobody knows who's who. So you can run around having all the awesome orgy sex you want without being known. And you can write over her glasses perfectly to make it look kind of like a masquerade mask. If your girlfriend ever comes home with the masquerade mask, you should probably be a little concerned. You should be like, hmm. Hmm, that looks kind of square. I don't know. Christopher says, oop. Yeah, okay, we'll try again. That wasn't very good. I'm just doing this by hand. I'm not like tracing or anything. So this is just by hand, and honestly, I have a camera in front of me, so it's not even that good. She's 15, bro. Nah, dude, she's like 100 years old. Shut up. Bro. All right, so my eyes are, oh, God damn it, I already messed up. Yeah, I need like a, I need like a, you know what I need? I need a really nice surface to do this on, because this is hard to do the way I'm doing it. You don't really have as much control over your hand this way. Can you guys even see? You can't see. Okay, so less is more in this case. My eyes like twitching. I've been up too late already. All right, that looks a little bit better already. You should get a phone with wide angle camera that would show everything on the table. Hmm, that's an interesting thought. I didn't think of that. The other thing we write on a lewd wick is a sub collar. Let's see. Let's see if we can make this one a little larger than usual. I tell you what, let's do it like this. I'm going to start off with the square so you guys can't see it. Maybe if I push this back, can you watch it then? Uh, it's kind of not a perfect circle, though. That's the problem. That's a little bit better. If only the circle was better. That's the collar. And then these are like handcuffs, right? That's what this is. The 
the black bracelet is actually uh, not a bracelet at all. Right? You guys know what I'm talking about. And then this part is always like tricky. It's like the bikini part of it. Oh, you can't see what I'm doing again. Why handcuffs? If you're even asking the question, I'm not going to explain it. Sorry, man. If you're even asking the question, I don't deserve to know. It's not something I'm going to answer. Why handcuffs? Oh, God. Do not tell him anyone. Because he is too young. Hey, why are you drawing handcuffs on her? Oh, okay. Your mom and your dad would not want you to watch this stream. B. Frank's like, damn. And then I like to draw for the bra. I like to have it be like hearts or whatever. Just for fun. I'm not too good at drawing hearts is the problem. Especially since this one is supposed to be seen like as if it's at an angle, but not too good at that. I think they're a little too large in that case. I don't know. It, it looks okay, actually. And then little chains, obviously, to hold them together. All right. And, uh, you know, you could do anything you wanted after after this you could do anything you wanted like you could do like a chain link going off Going off somewhere, but we don't know where. My phone, uh, my uh, phone is gonna die any second now. Oh yeah, I was thinking of drawing like a thing on the lake. But, you know, the legs don't actually look separated is the problem because of the, uh, the sort of skirt she's wearing. You can't really draw that very well. She's your big titty goth girlfriend. All right, and now we can sign the card, right? There we go. Actually, does me drawing it live make it like more valuable? I wonder, I bet it does. Send a PSA, easy $500, says B. Frank. <laughs> I, maybe if I drew directly on the card, uh, I don't know, man. That's that's an interesting thought. I didn't even think about that. I could send my own card to PSA. How did I get this to fit last time?
All right, so there's a magnetic case. I like the uh, the little chain thing going on. That's really cute. I wish I was better at drawing these. It, it looks good on camera, but in when you eyeball it, you can see that there's imperfections in the drawing. See, demonetized. But it was just kind of done freestyle with my hand here. Looks like she belongs in Jabba's palace with that chain. That's true. Yeah, so uh, thank you everyone who participated in tonight's stream. We all had some cool polls tonight. Thank you so much, Toxic, for letting us open that booster box of Hidden Fates. That was very cool, man. That was a lot of Hidden Fates. Mary's like, how much for the wick? Uh, I don't know. We'll probably put her up for auction again like we did the previous one. If you're actually interested in uh, purchasing the card. The hell is not wrong here. What? 1,000 for Wick. Fine, no spam. Jeez. Uh, but yeah, I'll probably just put her up for auction. The last one was just $55. And honestly, I was like, oh, that's cool. But, I, you know, a signed, a signed card is pretty neat, I think. Because um, I'm the same person as I am from the other channel, right? And that's a much larger channel. Auction time. <laughs> but yeah, anyways, let's go ahead and wrap the stream up for tonight. Thank you all for watching. Uh, Frank, it was nice to meet you. Thanks for selling me this Snorlax. It's so funny that you ran into me. That's cool. God Terror Boy says, wait, you're game economist? <laughs> yeah, uh, I'll see you guys next time, and I'll be back to work tomorrow. All right?